Hey guys, Jason here. Welcome back to another episode of Carvaco Hacks. In today's hack, I'm going to show you how to use the power of AI to make a 3D relief model. Before we get started, I wanted to give a big shout out to Christopher Watts. His posts in the Carvco Maker users group has been a big inspiration for this video. Now to get started, we're going to be using Microsoft Bing and their free image creator in order to generate our 3D relief images. I played around with several different prompts trying to find the best prompt and after quite a bit of testing I think I have come up with a fairly good prompt that gives pretty decent results. Now your prompt can be really simple like this one an image of wood carving of a dog in grayscale. The prompt that I ended with was a grayscale image of a pelican framed with the highest possible contrast representing a relief model for CNC routing. The image must feature extremely balanced lighting to make details visible across the model with very clear sharp contours and textures. The design should have strong shadows and intense highlights to accentuate different levels and surfaces ensuring no detail is obscured. I'm going to leave a copy of this prompt in the description below. All you need to do is change the subject and it should produce a fairly decent grayscale image. Okay, to make the 3D model, we're going to go back into Carveco and we're going to start a new model. Now, I'm just using a 12 by 12 size and we're going to be going to Relief, Import, and we're just going to press this Import button. We're going to go to our Downloads and I'm going to import one of the Pelicans from Bing. Now, when the picture comes in, it's really, really large compared to our 12 by 12 size. So we need to come over here and resize it. We're going to come in and enter our 12 by 12 size and we're going to change our height range to a half an inch. I'm going to press apply and now I, if I press F9 it will recenter it back into my material. Now all I need to do is paste this down and we have our 3D relief model. We simply just need to add some smoothing and the degree of smoothing that you add will soften all the digital noise that's imported from the image. Once you have a degree of softness or smoothness applied, then you're ready to create your 3D toolpath to cut this model out. Using a 1 16th and a quarter inch down cut end mill, we're going to set our material thickness to one inch. We'll calculate this and once we simulate our toolpath, we have our 3D relief model. Guys, I hope this has helped, and I'll see you on the next one. 